I'm with Scott Buchan, principal out at uh, Mary McKillop. And uh, we're just going to have a chat about, you know, your experience sort of last year through COVID-19 leading the school community. How did you handle that? And what, 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 what are some of the things that, you know, stood out for you? Um, well, COVID brought many challenges, as it did for all schools, and some of them are very much like today. So with me stranded by the floodwaters in the Hawkesbury, whilst <laughs> the school needs to be operational and, and functioning as normal for the community. Mm -hmm. um, but as a team, we're required to come up with effective solutions to those challenges. And what we find out is that doing what we've always done usually isn't sufficient under those circumstances. Mm -hmm. So for us, it brought, well, for me, it brought out the importance of having good people and having good team. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to have a very supportive, enthusiastic and talented team at St Mary MacKillop. Um, the teaching staff is excellent. Our leadership team works really well together and they're not afraid to engage in challenging work, but we always look after each other. Um, what really was a strength was we uncovered a great network of school connections mm -hmm. and very generous colleagues across many schools who are always prepared to share their plans, their ideas, to give and receive mm -hmm. feedback. And there was good support from the office as well. So the directors and the learning leader level of support um, was good at providing advice when needed. So that'd be some of the things I'd pull out of those COVID times. Hey, just reflecting in the broader sense, you know, without COVID, has that been your experience or it's, it's sort of something new that you think COVID uh, enabled us to do? I think it brought it to a, a highlight. I think it's always existed, but maybe yeah. we can have the mindfulness of it. Hmm. I just uh, can you really unpack the the way I really like the way you know you didn't sort of say you know, I'm the principal and we did, I did this you know you talked about the we obviously you, know, you did that deliberately in terms of you know working with your broad community. You know, what leads you to that view? Um, well, there was four sort of main areas identified around what worked in our leadership through COVID. So. If I just step you through those. Um, so the first one I would sort of identify would be connectivity. So initially in COVID, um, we engaged our staff, we engaged our community, and we did it using telephones. So it was a good start, but then we worked out it had its limitations um, for us to be able to connect effectively because we need to communicate, obviously, if we're going to operate as a team. So that led us then to explore things like 21st century tools that were a better fit for purpose. Mm. So we then had teams who were confident enough to initiate working with Zoom. Um, we did shared protocols around Google Classroom. Um, we had a couple of trailblazers who said Google Classroom isn't getting us what we need and they wanted to move into Seesaw. Um, Facebook was a good connector that we're getting that from our, our families as being a good connector for them. Um, but then the admin team of the school said we really need to be moving faster into um, the work with the Compass and the parent portal um, based on the feedback they were getting to support our parents. So having that connectivity um, was critical around that. Um, that way the team knows what the team knows. Okay. That's a, probably a good jump off into just the second question I want to ask you. Um, as you reflect on last year, now you're in a, in a, new, in a new year, what are, your, what are your major learnings? And um, the way you explained that, it all sounds very rational and you did this and you did that and you did that and it all sort of worked. <laughs> Is that how it really was? And, and, and what have you learned from that experience? Um. Yeah, look, I mean, it wasn't smooth by any, any stretch of the imagination. It was very hard learning um, for mm -hmm. the team, but it wasn't panicky either. Mm -hmm. um, so that point I just made around connectivity was really important um, because good connectivity diminishes assumptions. So we weren't mm -hmm. assuming a lot and then we weren't getting disappointed with going up the wrong paths because we were being curious mm -hmm. um, around it. Um, in terms of some, some learning for me, the importance of agility came, came mm -hmm. forward around that. Um, the challenges that we faced during COVID, you can't address them with 12-month, two-year, five-year plans. 
Um, we need to be more responsive and, and more agile. And, and I've taken out of, of that experience, that's true for contemporary learning as well. Um, so fortunately, the leadership team at St Mary MacKillop, we engaged in the Growing Great Leaders program over the past two years to build our capacity. Um, and so one aspect of that, the model of quick win cycles, we found really helpful. Um, mm. So we continue to build our, our work today around the quick win cycle. And part of that is it provides us with precise and timely feedback about how we're going and achieving our goals. You're not waiting too long to know if it's, having, if it's working or not. Um, and given the effort, the energy and the time that our team's put into making a difference for our students, we just believe that they deserve quality feedback in a timely manner to inform their decisions. So, and the good thing about quick win cycles, they've got a distinct measurability and they allow our colleagues then to reflect on, on the effect size of their effort. And with that, they can make judgments that can better determine their feeling of success. And, and, and that's what we found through COVID as well. We could try things and we would know whether they're working or not reasonably quickly. And if they weren't working the way we wanted them to, we'd adapt. It's a, it's a great sort of summary of, of, of what it is to be a learner and, and to lead a learning community. So thanks very much for um, giving us your time and um, we'll let you get back to your rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the buckets out, yes. <laughs>